In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I make 3D titles with Blender. I'll show you two ways to get an inflated method. And third, I'll show you the technique I used in my recent music video, Work Hard, Play Hard by D Smoke and his brother, Sir. There's a handful of ways to inflate text completely in Blender, whether it's to create text layer extruding its geometry and inflating it in the sculpt tab or adding a cloth simulation using pressure. But I found that these options are not giving me a simple clean inflated text without messing with the geometry or slowing down my machine. So now let me show you how I deal with that problem. I start inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now don't worry if you don't want to be inside of Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to show you an alternative where you can do everything inside of Blender. Now the first thing I'm going to do inside of Adobe Adobe Illustrator is go ahead and create a text layer. After that, I'm going to select my font. The font I'm using is Happy Coda. It's a hand-drawn font I made myself. If you want to use this font and follow along, you can find it on my Gumroad. Now that I have my font selected, I'm going to go ahead and type out my title. And then what I like to do is create outlines, select letters, reshape, rotate, and size them, and put them in the right order in order to create my title. Sometimes I use uppercase letters with lowercase letters and make the design look interesting. Now that I have the design ready to go, I'm going to select the layers and change the color to gray so that I can see the 3D better once I apply it. Inside of Adobe Illustrator, you want to go to Window, 3D, and Materials. Click Inflate, change the depth down to zero, and make sure you click inflate both sides. Now that that is done, I'm gonna select the layers, drag them into asset export, make sure I select .obj as the file extension, and export. Now we're gonna hop inside of Blender. I'm gonna go ahead and open the scene file that I used to create the first three title cards. If you'd like to follow along, you can get the Blender files on my Gumroad. I have this nice little scene set up here, and all we're gonna do is go over and file import obj, select our files, import them, and now that they're in, we're just gonna scale them and position them in front of the camera. You can move around with G, scale with S, and even rotate with R. A good tip when repositioning something in Blender is to hit G to move, and then hit X, Y, or Z to move it along that axis. Before we can add a material to our 3D object, first we're gonna have to remove the ones that come in from Adobe Illustrator. Head over to the Materials tab, and hit the minus icon and you delete all the materials that came in with it. Once that's done, we can add our own material. I added this cool clay material to the text and you can find that inside of the blend file along with other materials that you saw in the first three intro cards. Before I show you how I make 3D titles completely 100% inside of Blender, I want to show you this next method that's kind of in between the first way and the third way. The reason I use Adobe Illustrator to inflate my text is because it gets me the result I'm looking for very quickly and then I can bring that into Blender to get to work. In order to do this, you'll need to have the Happy Coda font. Inside of the folder, you'll find a .obj file of the entire alphabet. I have gone ahead and imported that file into a scene I set up already. First thing I want to do is remove the materials that come in with the .obj file. Now that I've removed the materials, I'm going to apply a quick material so I can see what the letters are looking like. Next what I'll do is go into edit mode, hitting tab. I'll select part of a letter that I want, hit Control L, then hit P, and hit Selection. And this is how you can separate individual letters into their own layer, and continue this process through whatever letters I'm looking for. Once that's done, I'll hit Tab back into Object Mode, and delete the rest. Now I can shape, and resize, and position the letters however I want. And you're done. Your PC will run faster if you select your letters first, then add your material later. Okay, now I'm going to show you a method that's done completely in Blender and the method I used to create the titles for the music video. Let's start by hitting Shift A and adding a text layer. Go ahead and press the number 7 on your numpad to get a top down view. Next, we're going to choose our font by going over the data tab and under font, we're going to load whatever font we want to use. In my case, I'm going to use the Happy Coda font. Next, I'll hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to go ahead and type in my title, hit edit, right click, convert to mesh. Now that we have converted to mesh, we're going to go back into edit mode, hit A. Now that everything is selected, you're going to want to hit E to extrude and Z to extrude along that axis. Now extrude however long you want. Let's hit tab to go back into object mode. Now we're going to rotate our object toward the camera by rotating it 90 degrees on the X axis. If you can't see your transform window, make sure to hit N. Next we're going to go to modifiers tab and add a remesh modifier. 
If you don't know where your modifiers tab is, it's the little icon that looks like a wrench. I like to change my voxel size around 0 0.01, give or take. When you're done with that, apply it. And next, we're going to add a smooth corrective modifier. Take the scale down to zero, and that'll smoothen out the edges just a little bit. I'm gonna add a quick material to this and show you what it looks like in the render. Now, if you notice, you can see that the edges still look a little rough. Now, some people might want this for certain looks, but if you don't want this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead over into the Sculpt tab. If you can't see this little menu on the left, go ahead and hit the button T, that'll toggle it on. Select the one that says Smooth. Now, up here, you can change the radius, which is how big it is, and strength, which is how strong you want the brush to be and then go ahead and run the brush along the edges of your title. That will get it nice and smooth and obviously apply it as hard as you want. And that's how you make 3D tiles inside of Blender for music videos or whatever you want. Alright guys, that's the video. Remember, I have that blend file up on my Gumroad. If you like any of the materials I use, if you like any of the scenes I made, if you just want to experiment and see how I did certain things or how I animated certain things, you can go ahead and open that up and check it out yourself. You can also check out the Happy Coda font. Now, I made this font with the intention of inflating the letters, so that's why I drew them a certain way. Check the font out on my Gumroad. Alright, thank you. Enjoy.